I've been using Leonardo a lot lately. You've probably heard about it. But recently, what I did is with print on demand. I've found that there's a lot of patterns, good models for patterns. So if you want to make something like this, stick with me. We'll go step by step, so make sure to bring pen and paper. First of all, Leonardo is free and you don't have to go to Discord. All you gotta do is to click on the launch app and you will land inside. Now, just have a look at some of these pictures. It's just crazy. If you ask me, way better than Midjourney. And it's way easier, especially for these patterns. So how to find these patterns? First of all, you can just use the search here, or you can just go over to these models. So just go over to fine tune models here. And then first of all, Leonardo is gonna list you all of these models that are platform models. Also, just to be clear, this is free. You know, you don't have to pay for a subscription or anything like that. You have these tokens, as you can see, and they will regenerate each 24 hours. If you want to go with just the patterns, print on demand business is totally enough. So where was I? Platform models, this is what it is. But community models, this is where you will find the models for patterns. Now, if you click on each one of these, for example, I don't know, on this one, you will go and you can generate with this model right away, or you can see the images created with this model if you click on here, view more. But let's just go and type in pattern here so we can see what is available. Click on search and you've got four of these. Now, if you click on any one of these, Memphis Patterns, for example, I go to view more. Now it's going to give me all of the models, all of the pictures that were generated using this model. And this one is fairly good. And the beautiful part about this one is that you can just see the prompt that was being used. For example, let's say that you like, I don't know, maybe this pattern. You click on it, colorful pattern with blue and red. And whichever one of these you click, you have the prompt that was being used. So all you got to do now is to click on generate with this model. Now, if you want to go your own route, you can just go over to image generation here and you can see some of these things that I've made. And I was using this lug gear pattern, however that is pronounced. And for example, I really like this one. I have the prompt right here so you can just take a look at it. Of course, feel free to pause the video and just take it for yourself. All of the images are going to be different. So, for example, if I just go and click on this and I use this tiling, now this is really, really important. Tiling is used for patterns. It's not used for any other form of AI image generation, only for patterns. Because this tiling feature is going to be used by Redbubble, Amazon Merch On Demand, Printful, Etsy, wherever you want to sell your items. So make sure to have this turned on and then just click on generate button here and just wait a few seconds. And here's the result. This is what I've got. For example, I like this one. I don't know why, but the thing that you can do as well is, for example, if you like this one, you can download this and then you have this image inputs have moved to the image guidance tab. So if you click on image guidance, you can go and click on here, so image input, and then upload that image that you have downloaded. For example, this is the one that I've liked. Now, you can just move this to like 0.2, let's say. This is just a strength. Then go back to generation history and then work with this. So what's this going to do? It's going to take the image as a guide and it's going to make something similar to that. So now you've got some variations. For example, this is the perfect one. I just like this one. So we've got the pattern, the picture, you just invest your time in it, and then it is time for the next step. The next step is going over to redbubble.com. I told you, you can use Printful, you can use Etsy's things, whatever you want, but Redbubble is just been a friend of mine. So on Redbubble, click on sell your art, make yourself an account as an artist. And then inside of this, click here and then click on sell your art here you just click on add new work and then click on upload new work upload that picture here it is as you can see and then scroll down now these are the products as you can see there's many products you can decide which one of these you want to make or not for example i had a lot of success with phone cases i had a lot of success with pillows and even these like shower curtains but there is a little trick that you have to do and that is to enlarge the image that ai gave you because have a look at this i will just scroll down and i will enable this phone case so this is enabled now you have to go to the edit section and here you have to click on this pattern and choose regular grid. This is done because it's gonna cover the whole area. 
Now click on apply changes here and then you can see that this phone case, as you can see right here, it looks beautiful. Now what is not good? It's too little. You know, these little flowers are just too small. So how can we fix that? Now, as you can see, scale image here, it is up to 100%. You can only make it like smaller. As you can see, it's just ugly this way. And if you just go this way, well, it's not so good. It is too small. Maybe on a phone, it can look good. But if you scroll down and take, I don't know, shower curtain, it's going to look awful. Let me just go to the edit section, choose regular grid. And if I just scroll up, you can see that it is, it's just ugly. So here's a fix. Search for this AI tool, vectorizer.ai. Upload the image. And then this tool is going to do the work. As you can see right here, it is even better. It cleans it up. You can zoom in and out, see how it behaves. And all you got to do now is to click on the download button here. Be sure to check SVG. It's going to be important later. So SVG, this, all these other ones, you can leave as it is. Click on download and then open up my favorite tool for design things, canva.com. Now inside of Canva, click on custom size and just type in 4500 by 4500. Yeah, that's huge. Now head over to the upload section and then just upload that picture, that SVG file. Now look what happens because this is an SVG file. I can just place it here in the corner and I can just increase the size of it without it losing quality. So it's going to stay the same quality. It's just going to be bigger. That's why you use SVG file and that's why you use tiling. All right. These two things in a combination give you this result. All you got to do now, click on the share button, download it here, and now you can just leave PNG. Now, when I upload this new work to Redbubble, it's going to be way better. I'll go down to see my phone case, as you can see, way bigger flowers. If you go to edit, you can even increase the size of these flowers. Now it's just really good, as you can see. Now you can play with it until you find the sweet spot. For example, this is the sweet spot for me, let's say. Down there on the shower curtains, as you can see, now it's going to be a way better story. Choose pattern first, regular grid. Let's just go up a little bit. Now you can see it's way better. Really, really huge. If you want these to be even bigger, inside of Canva, take this to, I don't know, maybe 6,000. Make it again and re-upload here on Redbubble. You can do the same thing with pillows. Just remember this pattern, regular grid, and then just go and increase these flowers as you see fit. Really good and really fun. Honestly, I could do this all day. All you got to do now is to set up your shop here on Redbubble. It's just self-explanatory and then decide how are you going to market this? What are you going to use Etsy? What are you going to use Amazon? What are you just going to sell this on TikTok shops? These are all viable options and I'll make a video on it. Just leave me a comment down there if you really want it and I'll make it. Until then, use these tricks and just work on it. Take some action. I'll catch you.